Hello world, I'm here to talk to you about the officiating in the 2010 FIFA World Cup. You've most likely heard by now that it's been very, very bad. This video is a compilation of incidents that have happened in the FIFA World Cup to show you just how bad the officiating has been. First, let's start off with, let's go back to even before this tournament began. Let's go to the qualifying match of France versus Ireland. France used an illegal handball to get into the World Cup. So Ireland really feels cheated out there. This incident, as it turns out, is a telltale of how this tournament was going to be. Some would say that justice has been meted out since France basically didn't do anything in the World Cup. They scored only one goal and got only one point in the standings. So they basically crashed out. Now I'm going to talk to you a little about the USA's excursion. They've had disallowed goals against Slovenia and Algeria. Both of these goals would have dramatically changed the game. Even before the USA-Slovenia game, there was another controversial game with Germany versus Serbia. Germany was given all these yellow cards and one turned into a red card and got sent off. Some have said that the Spanish referee was being overly strict. But a minute after Germany was sent off, Serbia scored. That was the only goal of the game. So that goal, some would say, is controversial. And then, in spite of all this, FIFA says, said at that point they are very, very satisfied with the officiating in this tournament. Now I'm going to stop talking and let you think about that quote. Okay. Now, in the Brazil vs. Ivory Coast qualifying game, Brazil won that game 3-1, but one of Brazil's goals was a handball. Again, this could have dramatically changed the game. If that goal had not been allowed, like it shouldn't have been, then Ivory Coast may have had a decent shot at actually winning that game, or at least pulling out a draw, a draw over Brazil. Now let's jump to the, um, to the knockout stage. In the England-Germany game, England had scored an equalizing goal that had clearly crossed the line, yet the referees disallowed the goal. Germany went on to win that game 4-1. Now granted, I am happy for my one friend who's German and wanted his team to win, but the English people will feel that they have been cheated out of this game. Fabio Capello was saying that if that goal had stood, it would have changed the game because they would have had a different attacking style. And now, going the other way, in the Argentina-Mexico game, Argentina was apparently well offside on the one goal, but the referee awarded the goal nonetheless. And the referees this time, for some reason, even had like a conference after that goal, yet they still allowed the goal. And then, after these incidents, FIFA still refused to adopt goal line technology and instant replay. What's up with that? This event is too big to have all these refereeing misfires like that. Either the refs are really incompetent or something evil is cooking over at FIFA. Entire stadiums have been opened just to view these games, such as the Crew Stadium in Columbus, Ohio, AT&T Park in San Francisco, California, and Gale Farm Stadium in Huddersfield, England. 
what's more is that entire countries just live for soccer, like Italy and Spain and France and Brazil and Mexico. Hey refs, when you when you call them these games like this, you're saddening entire nations. And I'm American and soccer isn't even that big in this country, but come on. Well fans, I'd like to say my advice is to either boycott this event or to watch watch it to see how this farcical tournament is going to end and who comes out on top and how many more terrible calls will happen, how many more goals will be disallowed and how many more non-goals are going to be allowed. I've seen this on msnfoxsports.com that and other places too that Goal line technology and instant replay should be allowed. MSN Fox Sports admits that one reason FIFA wouldn't want to do it is because it's a continuous time running game and and it would take it would be too much to stop the game and check the replay of the goals. Hello, there is stoppage time. You could even have like 10 or 15 minutes of stoppage time in order to get the calls right. Come on. Anyway, fans, post down there to see what. Post down there to comment your views on this entire tournament. Okay? I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. I'm out. Bye-bye.